Hello students. Now we are going to our first chapter, the number systems. Before moving to the number system, we will have an introduction about what is a signal. Okay, what is a signal? A signal means a function that represents the variation of a physical quantity with respect to any parameter. A physical quantity is any measurable quantity, for example, temperature, pressure, voltage, or current. The variation, the, the function which represents the variation of that quantities with respect to any parameter. The parameter can be time or distance. Okay, so we have two types of signals that is analog signal and the digital signal. In analog signal, it's a continuous signal. We can have any values within the given limit. But a digital signal is not continuous there are several levels there we are able to take that particular levels only and not able to see what is happening in between these levels okay here this is an example of an analog system this is the clock which we are using in our home in this clock we represent time as 12 hours 45 minutes and 25 seconds okay after covering 60 seconds it will switches to 26 seconds then it will changes 46 minutes and all so which means we are able to see what is happening in between these 25 and 26 right we are able to take any values within this given 24 hours that's what a analog system is that means it is continuous but if you take an example in the digital system, this is a representation of the digital clock. Here we represent the time which we taken earlier in the analog system. It becomes 12 hours and 45 minutes. After 20, 60 seconds, it will switch us to 46. But we are not able to see what is happening in between this 45 and 46. Okay. So that's what a digital system is we are not able to take the entire value because and we are able to take only that particular values like 45 46 47 and so on but this is the graph showing the digital system and an analog system in the digital signal the value is continuous we can have any values within the given limit but in the case of a digital system we have certain particular levels there we are able to take only that particular levels. We are not able to take any intermediate values between the successive levels. Okay. Most of our real life signals are analog in nature. But for plenty of applications, we are preferring digital signals over the analog signal. This is because the digital signals are less affected by noise. This is Due to this reason, in the communication system, we are preferring digital signals over the analog. And also, the digital signals carry more information per unit time as compared to analog signals. Then, the quality of the digital signal is better over long distance transmission. The use of bandwidth is less in case of a transmission using digital method. So these are the uh, advantages for the digital signals. Here I am considering an example as the communication network. Here this is a block diagram showing the communication network. We have a transmitter and a receiver. Okay, the information is transmitted to the receiver through a channel. During its passage certain unwanted signal that's called the noise get mixed up with our actual information so the signal at the receiver block will be distorted okay here i am considering as an example as the analog signal if you are transmitting an analog signal of take a voltage signal of 2.5 volt okay i have transmitted it and certain noise signal get mixed up with the our actual information let the voltage be 0.2 volt noise okay so the signal which i will receive will be of 2.5 volt plus 0.2 volt 
which is equal to 2.7 volt as we are considering the analog signal we are able to take that value because we are able to take any value within the given limit let the limit be 0 to 5 volt okay so the signal which i will receive will be a distorted one now consider the case of a digital signal in the digital signal we are they are it is not a continuous signal so we are not able to take the exact value 2.7 volt because consider i have a level up to 0 to 5 volt and i have divided this 0 to 5 into four levels such that it becomes 1.25 2.5 3.75 and finally 5. So the signal which I have to receive at the receiver end is 2.7 volt. But I am not able to take that exact value because that 2.7 volt is not in my particular level. So the 2.7 volt will come in between 3.75 and 2.5. Then what we have to do is among these 3.75 and 2.5 which value should I choose? To minimize the error, we have to choose the lower value. That is the 2.5 volt. The 2.5 volt will be our signal at the receiver end. Okay. So, the signal which I received will be 2.5 volt in the case of a digital signal. And in the case of analog signal, it is 2.7 volt. So, the digital signal suppress the noise and it is because of this reason we are choosing or we are preferring digital signals over analog in the communication networks okay now this is a the block diagram of a digital system right we know all our real life signals are analog in nature so we have to convert our analog input to a digital with the help of a ADC that is analog to digital converter. This converted digital signal is given to the processor. The processor is nothing but our digital system that can be a computer, calculator or a digital watch or anything. The function of the processor is to define discrete levels for the quantity that we are considering for either voltage or current. That means the Digital system will process our digital signal. Okay. This process digital signal is again converted to analog output. Because here it has to be converted to analog output. This is done because if I have already said the example of a digital clock. If that clock represents the analog output. If it is not represented so, then for example the time 8 and 8 minutes in the digital if it is in the digital signal itself it will be represented with 100 zero zero and 000100 zero 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 zero. so it is very hard to find what the time is so we have to convert this process digital signal back to it analog output then it would be displayed like this okay so that's what a digital system is now some of the common terms that we use in this subject is the switch and the bits. Okay, first of all consider two switches like in our electrical networks S1 and S2. So you'd like by using these two switches, how many conditions could I develop? I have tabulated all those conditions. I have developed four conditions. The first condition is keeping both the switches in the off state. S1 and S2 is off. Second one, keeping S1 off and S2 in the on position. Okay. The third one is S1 on, on, S2 is off. The fourth stage is both the switches are in on state. Okay. Here I have used two switches. If I generalized this topic, it will become if N is the number of levels or the number of conditions and M is the number of switch, then the number of levels will be 2 to the power of m example i have taken two switches here right the number of switch is m equal to 2 and therefore the n will becomes 2 to the power 
2 which will be equal to 4. The number of levels or the conditions which I develop using these two switches will be 4. So we got 4 levels here. Now the term bits. What is a bit? We know we have followed the decimal number system, right? In the decimal number system, we have a number 746. This is a decimal number. This decimal number or the 746 individually is what we call as a digit. Okay. So, there are other number systems too. We will learn more about that in the coming classes. In the binary number system, we will represent a number with 1 and 0. Let this be a binary number. And this 1 and 0 individually is called a binary digit. Okay. This is a binary digit. This binary digit is what we called as a bit. Is nothing but a bit. The number of bits in a system is equal to the number of switch. Okay. And if we are increasing the number of bits, we are actually increasing the number of switch. By doing so, we are increasing the resolution, the accuracy and the efficiency of the entire system. So that's all about what is a switch and bit and we have covered what is a signal, analog signal, digital signal and its importance and why we always prefer digital signal. Okay.